Hello there guys, this is just a really short follow-up video to my Flatwoods Monster video, and I just want to get a video out to you guys because it's been so long. My apologies, my T-Rex video is being edited and I want to get you guys something since it's been like two weeks. And well, I've been super busy with work and study, so just know another long video is on its way very soon. And wow, you guys figured it out. I believe the mystery of the reason why the witnesses concluded on the curious and strange shape of the head of the Flatwoods Monster has indeed been solved. This is a video clip of a group of horned owls trying to threaten and intimidate a human by Teton Raptor Sinner. Link in the description. I want you to specifically watch the one owl in the center. In this video, they are demonstrating their fear response to people. They puff up and clack their beaks to look intimidating. The one in the middle is performing a common display by swooping its head down and puffing up its wings around it to look larger and more intimidating. And let's just look at what this shape is familiar to. What do you know, the shape looks oddly similar to the spade-like head of the Flatwoods Monster in comic book Alien from a month before. And when do owls do this? When they feel threatened by humans. Yup, I think this case has been further solved. It was an owl, probably a barn owl, that felt threatened and performed this display to intimidate the humans. And it worked. I really wish I could take credit for this genius explanation, but all the credit for finding this comparison really goes to my two fans, Miguel Cuervo and Matthew Calero. Both you guys figured this out, and Matthew drew an awesome and terrifying image displaying what he found. Dudes, you're great, and thank you so much for bringing up this idea to my attention. I don't think any other cryptozoologist or skeptic, myself included, has proposed this amazing explanation for the strange shape of the Flatwoods monster's head, and I believe you are completely right. Great work, guys. Also, think of this bizarre image accompanied by the sound of this. This is the sound a barn owl makes when it's threatened. Terrifying, right? It really helps you to get into the mind of the eyewitnesses and what they were experiencing at the time. I also would like to thank all my viewers that sent an awesome fan art of Megalostrix and Macrocephalian. I love all the work, and again, thank you so much. Here's just a few drawings and paintings people sent in. CM Kozman even made a few sketches of the Flatwoods Monster that look great. I also heard people commenting about the Flatwoods Monster being similar in appearance to Mesopotamian eye god idols, asking if they could be the same being. I believe you guys are referring to these figures recovered from Tel Brak in Syria. The temple where they were found in is commonly named the Eye Temple, and I can't really wonder why. Numerous of these weird eye idols were uncovered there. Some of these figures don headdresses, some wear necklaces, others are decorated with chevrons, which are symbolic to breasts. Some people compare the similar shape and large eyes of these idols to the Flatwoods monster, saying it is proof that Flatwoods was an alien that visited Earth thousands of years ago. Alright, let me clear this up. These idols definitely do not represent real organisms. In reality, these idols represent the Akkadian goddess of fertility, love, war, and sex, Ishtar. The idols are gifts or offerings to this goddess and other gods. Their weird shape and appearance is actually due to them being abstract forms of human sex organs. Yup. Or in other words, their necks and heads are abstracted phallic and vulvar forms. Because, well, Ishtar was the goddess of sex. Their large eyes are due to large eyes being a very common motif in Akkadian culture. It is believed that wide eyes demonstrate attractiveness to the gods in much of Mesopotamian art. The quote-unquote buttons and controls are nothing but symbolic designs seen commonly in Akkadian culture. For example, these wavy lines here are most likely chevrons, which represent female, i.e. Ishtar, the female goddess. The necklaces and headdresses are common religious clothing and art helmets are future technology. They aren't controls to a robot suit. Most of these idols actually lack any designs on them, and actually only have a very simple shape. There is zero connection between the Flatwoods monster and these idols. The idols do not represent anything real. They are just stylized images of sex organs with also incorporated eyes to worship the goddess Ishtar. What really happened here is some guy, I don't know, 3500 to 3300 BCE, was bored and had nothing to do and just looked at his thingy, Imagine eyes on it, and said, wouldn't it be cool to represent our goddess with this thing? Yup. They didn't see an alien, or a robot, or even a real organism that looked like this. And really, these things only look vaguely like flat woods. When you really compare the two, I can't really see too many similarities besides just large eyes. And considering most were very, very simple in design, yeah, I don't think they even look alike. The concept of the Flatwoods monster just being a misidentified owl still stands, and we really shouldn't make that massive jump to it was an alien, or it was anything related to these penis idols. They ain't aliens. 
They're just penises. Trey the Explainer, 2016. Wow, that sounds really wrong out of context. And before I finish this video, I'd just like to respond to a comment sent in by the famous cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman. He writes, How is the hissy <laughs> and gliding oh, towards the eyewitnesses explain? I rest my case, Mr. Coleman. But Jesus, holy crap. Okay, that's all the time I have for today. Sorry for this really short video. Again, I've been super busy, and the next video has required a lot of work and resources, and will be out very soon, as well as more cryptid and paleo ones. I hope you just enjoyed this short one and learned something. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day.